Two key Arizona witnesses in the Chad Daybell murder trial and an emotional 911 call at today's trial. Yeah, Fox 10 investigator Justin Lum joins us live with the latest in the Capitol case of the self-proclaimed doomsday prophet. And John, Christina, probably the most shocking revelation of the day, whether you believe it or not, Chad Daybell visibly emotional in the courtroom as evidence was revealed to the jury. Okay, can I get your name? Chad Daybell. Oh, man. <laughs> Listening to his own voice on the 911 call for Tammy Daybell's death in October of 2019, Chad Daybell appeared to get emotional, body language no one in court has seen from the man accused of murdering his first wife. Prosecutors say Tammy was an obstacle in Chad's plan to be with Lori Vallow, his next wife and convicted killer. Lori used doomsday beliefs to justify the deaths of her two children, J.J. and Tylee, while conspiring in Tammy's death. Evidence revealed how the three victims were deemed dark spirits by co-conspirators. The ex-husband of Lori's niece, Brandon Boudreaux, testified since he was shot at outside his Gilbert home weeks before Tammy's demise. There, were, there was like these uh, documents that talked about like light and dark spirits and it was like raiding my family, like and it, it, myself and then my extended family, like Lori's family and things like that. Gilbert police officer Ryan Piller investigated the attempted murder against Boudreaux, locating a suspect vehicle and a possible shooter. Who was that person of interest? Person of interest was Alexander Cox. Cox is Lori's late brother, who moved with her from Arizona to Idaho after shooting and killing Lori's fourth husband and Chandler, claiming self-defense. His cell phone pinged in Daybell's backyard where authorities discovered J.J. and Tylee's remains in June of 2020. Chad's defense cross-examined the officer who took photos in the Daybell home after Tammy's death. Chad never asked for an autopsy, and his lawyer cited possible health concerns for Tammy and brought up Chad's reaction to her passing. He was pretty shook up about this, wasn't he? Yes. Far more shook up than anybody else in the house, right? Yes. Since then, an exhumation and autopsy reveals Tammy's death was a homicide and the cause was asphyxiation. Trial continues tomorrow morning for day 10 of witness testimony. We've been sharing that live stream on our Fox 10 Phoenix YouTube channel. I'll be providing live analysis throughout the day. Scan the QR code on your screen for more information. I'm Justin Lum for Fox 10 Investigate.